All right. Speaking of Sugar Hill Gang and Sugar Hill Records, we have the uh, 40th anniversary box set right here. It just dropped from Rhino. Pretty dope. And uh, yeah. your cut on here is Grandmaster Flash and the Furies 5, The Message, with one of the funkiest beats of all time. Oh, man. This beat here, man. Yeah. It's just... Never gets old. Yeah, it never gets old. <laughs> yeah, you can do remakes on this beat all day. Yeah, all day. I mean, and the way Mel comes in, yeah, and starts explaining the 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 ghetto, yeah, the, the world, yeah, you know, everybody in this time period was mind blown. This is like the first conscious hip hop record. Yep, absolutely. Essentially, uh, Melly Mel is is definitely the man. Right. You know what I mean? So and explain the first time you heard this record, like. On radio, someone uh, was the playing first, it. No, the first or? time I heard this record was uh, on the radio. Okay. First time I heard it was on the radio. Uh, I was on my block in Hollis, Queens, and this record came on, and I was like, "Wow, this music is incredible." Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, as soon as he said, "Glass everywhere." Yep. People <laughs> pissing on the stage, you know, yeah, they just, just don't care. care. I'm like, "Wow, I'm listening." Like, yep. He's right. Yeah, yeah, baseball bat. Yeah, I'm like everything yeah. he's saying is yeah. just like so true. Yeah. And Mel you know is, I mean? Mel's voice was so on point. You yes. could hear it. His cadence was so good. Every, so you you could everything you were saying. You were like wow, like I did. I mean, I, and I was already a fan of Mel anyway because okay. I just had a cassette tape. So the Furious Four, right? Before okay. it was the Furious Five. You know what I mean? So he already blew me away from the tape. So when I heard this, I was like. So now what he's saying right yeah. right right yeah and you uh i was curious we had evidence on the show he picked this record as well and we kind of asked him about his take on like the ice cube and the puffy versions that came later what was your take on oh, my versions? take was you know um i thought they did a good job yeah i thought they both they couldn't go wrong with this beat <laughs> right 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 because <laughs> you hear this beat yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. oh this is hard you yeah know? they both you know Pay respect. And yeah. music, you know it, I mean? It's yeah. funny how you brought up how Angry Birds and how it yeah. ex extends the music to the next generation. Right. My kids, um, they heard the, the Ice Cube version, then the Puffy, and then they heard this. Right. And wow. then they're like, yeah, I like this one the best. This is, a, and, this is the best And version, then I would yeah. say, I would like, well, did you listen to the words? You listen to what he's saying? No. I go, well, go back and actually listen to what he's saying because yeah. he's actually saying something. And they're like, okay. It's a struggle. Yeah. 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 He, he's yeah. talking about the struggle. Yep. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yep. Classic record, man. Big Hell record yeah. for hip hop. I, saw, I, I, I came across this record on uh, Night Flight, the video show. Yeah. Do you remember that? It used to run on like uh, USA Network or something. And this video came on. And the video was like, it had like a project, was a Bronx or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Right. And it was just, it wasn't like flashy or anything. Like, what's this? And like you said, the beat came out. of like, and then he starts yeah. rapping. I'm like, what's he talking about? Yeah. Like, it was just like, it just, you it's know amazing what? how this record just hit and, you. And back then, the Bronx was so fucked up. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. With the burnt down building. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. the all they were trying to like, they were like, doing that for insurance purposes. Like, the yeah. landlords were tr like basically lighting the buildings on fire to collect insurance on yep. them. You know what I mean? Wow. And, it was, and there was also that whole thing with the, Cross, uh, cross front expressway that like cut through those, you know. There's a whole documentary Rebel Kings that kind of goes Rebel deep and oh, yeah, man, that's like that. super dope. It kind of explains how yeah, they, yeah, you know, it's fucked up, but yeah, oh, wow. yeah, yeah. But yeah, dope record, man. All right, yeah. Grandmaster Flash, Furious Five, the message.